Welcome to my Can Talk 2015. The name of my book was The Beautiful Indifference, and I named this Can Talk Quietly Falling Apart because throughout the story, every, every woman who tells her different story about an issue, uh, she keeps it to herself mostly, so the people around her don't realize that she is falling apart. Every woman in the book deals with something and some of them range from rape, to death of a loved one, to midlife crises. They just range all over. Uh, and that leads to uh, the, the, how the suffering of women, though quiet, is real and deep. While they may not go to war literally, they are at war with themselves and in their <coughs> relationships. Uh, Sarah Hall wrote this book beautifully. She puts the char she puts the reader in the character's shoes so we can really feel what she's going what they're going on with and she did put it in the in the point of view of women while she could have done men because they all deal with the same problems but she knows how uh, women and men react differently to prom to their problems and uh, the men probably would have lashed out in some of the situations that these women have been dealing with but the women keep it to themselves and they basically tear themselves up and inside because of it and blame themselves for the pro problems even if they really had no choice. And uh, she also wrote about how women are like put into a certain image in society. They have, they're the cookie cutter image basically where they need to be so many different things but also perfect basically. And every woman, they know that they're not perfect, but they, they can't really go along with the plan that was laid out for them. And the women, the seven women in these stories <coughs> represent the outsiders who don't want to be like labeled as sex icons or housewives. They want to be independent from the restraints of society which leads to the first story that was in the book was called The Butcher's Perfume. There were two girls, Kathleen, who was also known as Sweet Kathleen, and Manda, who was the bully of their high school. And they developed a very unlikely friendship where uh, Kathleen had been scared of Manda, but then as they got to know each other, they developed a really close personal relationship where they were there for each other during every one of their problems. Like Kathleen had to deal with an attempted rape and Manda was there with her the entire time. And Manda uh, had to deal with an abortion and Ka Sarah Hall describes Kathleen as being in there holding her hand the entire time as she went through it. Um, so they were always there for each other when no one else was. Everyone looked down to that, looked down upon them because they were so different, and they didn't think that they belonged to be in a friendship at all. Next was the story bees. This one revolved around a single woman who was just having a mental breakdown, basically, completely internally. She was working in her garden when she saw many bees that were then dying, and she wondered why why they were dying, what was causing them, and why couldn't they continue to live. And that then brought her into her own mind where she thought of how she was, there was a plan that was laid out for her. She was to go to college and then get married, get a house, and have kids. But she had none of that. She just had the house, basically. And she had just lost her job, and her husband had left her, and she had nothing anymore. And so she went into this downward spiral where her friends, they all looked <coughs> down upon her and they were like, they thought of her as less because she didn't have everything that they did. And like, she was just thinking to herself, what, re what went wrong? What, what caused me to fall apart in my life? And why do I have everything different from everyone else? Another story was The Beautiful <coughs> Difference, which the book was actually named after. Uh, this story was between an unnamed woman and her lover, as she called him. Uh, she was waiting in a hotel room for him 
because whenever he comes to visit, he wanted her to get check into a hotel. And so they, they had a mainly sexual relationship, but she really cared deeply for him, even though he did not want anything more from her. So as it begins, you see her in the room having changed her outfit at least three times just to wonder, like, what would he like most? What does he want for me? She was just completely worried with what he would think about her. Uh, and um, when he finally got there late, she's more than happy to see him, but he's just really distant and cold. They, do, they go out to dinner, and then they come back, and um, they engage in sex, and, uh, but so that's the only time she ever feels close to him when they're together. All he wants is a physical relationship. And then the next morning, he leaves, and she feels completely empty without him. She feels like she has no purpose because that's all that she's been known to have, just to grow up and be perfect for the man. And the only reason he ever he keeps coming back to her every few months is because she she's very pleasing to him. So if I would add this to the curriculum, I personally wouldn't because <coughs> the it has a lot of really graphic scenes that even like that would be really uncomfortable to read, and um, it's kind of difficult to see the continuity between the stories at some points. So I personally wouldn't but it was still a good book to read.